ABC 15 breaking news. Good afternoon, everybody. This is ABC 15 News at 4. I'm Dan Spindle. A bombshell report once redacted, finally released on former Arizona Representative David Stringer. He resigned from office a couple of days ago as pressure was mounting to release documents from a 1983 sex abuse case. ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscuit being in the newsroom now with more on this report that was just released. Dave, what do we know? Well, Dan, we've been poring over the report since it was released and on page 383, a copy of the police report from Stringer's arrest and it's very disturbing. The handwritten Baltimore police report shows Stringer was arrested on eight different sex charges. It's too graphic to give all of the details here, but it alleges Stringer met two boys younger than 15 years old at a park and brought them to his apartment for oral sex. He paid the boys and continued to see at least one of them an additional 10 times and engaged in a variety of other sex acts. Stringer was in his mid-30s at the time, and one of the boys was, in the words of the report, mentally defective. Now, records appear to show Stringer was given probation and ordered to seek counseling. Other details about his sentence are unavailable because his case was expunged. Now, the rest of the file documents the legislature's ethic case against Stringer and includes examples of Stringer's alleged racist comments and complaints from his constituents about racist, disrespectful, and erratic behavior. Right now, we've got a team digging through more on the report. For now, I'm Dave Biscoping, ABC 15, Arizona. Dave, shocking to say the least. We have a news conference happening right now with House Speaker Rusty Bowers and House Democratic Leader Charlene Fernandez. Let's listen in. Monday night. Uh, we were informed that the investigators were looking for information that could be highly explosive. On Tuesday, we were informed that they had the police report uh, in Baltimore. Um, on early Wednesday morning, after they had corroborated that they had received the report uh, legally and that we had had the evidentiary uh, uh, receipts, etc., for the securing of the report. I was told of its explosive nature and asked to read it because I'm the presiding officer. Um, upon reading the report, I was sickened. And, uh, and I was informed that the workings of the committee had been again delayed by the attorney saying that she, would, her, she and her client would not show up on Wednesday. Uh, for a, uh, no, I'm sorry, Wednesday was when they were supposed to show up. That was the day. Uh, so it was, uh, I wanted to see him earlier. And uh, so right after floor, I asked to see Mr. Stringer. And I confronted him with my knowledge of the report. And I asked for his resignation and uh, that he would fill it out immediately and informed him that it would be best that he left the property also immediately, which he did. Um, I am very aware, uh, having grandchildren and children and all of you in the public and with our families and loved ones, that this is very disturbing, and especially to us with the trust. And I want to maintain that trust and the integrity of this institution that we can feel safe here with our families and our children and tours and loved ones. And I am happy only to the fact that uh, Mrs. Fernandez and I uh, we are very much uh, in sync on providing safely for a, the accommodation of the public in this their house and their children and families. Uh, Ms. Fernandez, please. Uh, thank you all for being here. Um, I'm Representative Charlene Fernandez. I'm the House Minority Leader. And I'm speaking for 29 members that we are also very distressed at what we've heard, what we've seen. Um, I've been talking to my members all day. We are here to work with the speaker and with the Republican majority. And by the way, this is not a political issue. This is an Arizona State Legislature issue. We need to put together some new protocols of how we do our business here. 
and maybe look at what kind of people run for office. We worry about people's financials when they get ready to run for office. I think we need to start looking into people's backgrounds. We need to hold ourselves to a higher level. I am proud to serve in this office and in this legislature, but it's really distressing today because I wonder what the public thinks about us. I'm urging anyone, anyone that might have any cause to worry to contact advocacy groups all over Phoenix, Arizona that are there to help you. If you feel the need, you can contact law enforcement. But if you just go to our um, Facebook page, Arizona House Democrats, we have a list of advocacy groups that are there to help you and support you in any way, shape, or form. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions? Let, let me start off with something Ms. Fernandez said. You know, we look at the people's financial backgrounds, maybe we should be looking into their own backgrounds. Is that really the role of the House? We assume that the political foes and others and journalists will look into this. Is that really the role of the legislature to be looking into the personal backgrounds of people? I would say that if you're go going to run for office, the people that support you would want to know who you are and where you came from. And if they care about what your financial background is and where you spend your money and what holdings you have, that they would care if you have some type of a record somewhere. Maybe we need to be fingerprinted. I'm not sure what the answer is, but I do think that we need new protocols in place. Is this sort of like the box and check on the application says you've ever been convicted of a felony? Is this something that you think we need for legislative candidates nope. or candidates for office? We don't ban the box for people that apply for a job. I, I think we're getting off. Well, okay. What is most important to me is that the people who come into this house are safe, that the people who work in this house are safe. Uh, I think your role is uh, a definite need for the review and, and background of what we do. I'm, I have a fingerprint card from other occupational demands, but uh, what I'm, I'm not here to institute some new background check on everybody that, that works around government, but to A, mourn with families that suffer uh, these types of abuses to assure my staff and our people here that they are safe and that there's any, any and as, as I have spoken to staff, no staff here or in this, anybody that I'm working with here needs to ever suffer any abuse of any kind from anyone and if they do they should come and report it to me immediately. Are you suggesting that there was these are incidents no. from 1984. You're suggesting that there may have been something no. since? No. Okay. No. I just want us to, to know that Charlene and I, A, that we are united in making sure that as much as we can, that this body and this place is a place where people can feel safe to, in, to do the people's business. Beyond that, I, I, all of us are an open book. I shouldn't say that. Some of us may have a closed book. That's obvious. But the background information that was gleaned by a journalist, whether we can talk about the ways and means, but it was gleaned, and that absolutely accelerated the Ethics Committee work, focused the Ethics Committee work, and legally we were able to obtain information that resulted in the resignation of a member. We're not afraid to do that. And we took that responsibility seriously the Democrats and Republicans on this committee, and and we arrived at this conclusion, and I'm glad that's over with. Mr. When I Speaker, spoke to can you, you elaborate on how you legally obtained the police report? Can you share any more information about how? Arizona you're... House Speaker Rusty Bowers there talking about closed books. The book on Representative, former Representative David Stringer, now open to the account of 400 plus pages of documents. Again, ABC 15 pouring over those documents right now. Go to ABC15.com. He was speaking there with House Democratic leader Charlene Fernandez. They say this is not a political issue. They are working together uh, to kind of shed some light on what went on decades ago 
involving now former Representative Stringer. Again, we'll have lots more on that throughout the evening tonight right here on ABC 15. Let's